Hello beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lucy and today I am filming a little get to know me, get ready with me and I'm going to show you a little bit of my everyday makeup routine. I'm super excited to start finally filming YouTube properly now that I have my brand new camera. It is the Sony ZV-1F, the little camera that flips out. All the vloggers and influencers are using it, but I am super excited to share a little bit about myself and so that you guys can get to know me and feel like you can come and engage with my content a little bit more. With that being said, let's get ready for the day. When I get ready for the day, my main focus... Like the first step that I like to focus on is the base. I feel like if your base isn't right, the whole thing just gets thrown off. So let's talk a little bit about skincare. So I suffer on a daily basis with dryness and a bit of eczema and, you know, my skin isn't perfect. I do tend to break out a little bit. So I'm just going to show you what I do to like, not like perfect my skin, but make the base of my skin a little bit easier to work with when doing my makeup. So every second or third day, I like to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner. So I like to take my toner on a nice cotton pad just because the cotton pad also helps with exfoliating the skin. I like to make sure I get in the creases of my nose, the tops of my eyelids because I get extra dry there, and then all over my forehead. This is where I have my eczema outbreaks all over my forehead, so I like to focus on that area. For my dryness and my eczema, I have found a life-changing product. It's also by Glow Recipe. Also... If you keep seeing me like look over here, it's because my camera like does the whole flip out thing and I, I don't really know where to look <laughs> if I'm supposed to look like in the lens or I don't know. Uh, we're going to ignore that. I will try my hardest to look directly in the lens, but every now and then I keep on glancing at myself because I guess that's what that, that's for. It's there so you can make sure you're in frame, I guess. Anyway, the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Serum has been a game changer and a lifesaver. Mine's almost out, so I'm going to have to go get a new one, but... I really did see an instant difference in like a week of using it in my dryness and my eczema. It like completely healed my skin. So I like to focus it mainly on my forehead and then I'll just put the excess where I tend to get a little bit drier. Now I like to go in with a bit of moisturiser. So I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Plum Plump. And with that being said, I also like to mix in the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. A quick little fun fact about me is that I'm actually an aspiring dance teacher and choreographer. My entire life I have always wanted to own my own studio and produce like niche little shows that like everyone can enjoy and from where I where I live and like where I grew up there weren't a whole lot of opportunities in terms of performing arts and dance so I kind of want to open up that industry a little bit where I live just because Everywhere else in Australia seems to have some full-time program in their state and where I live there just really isn't anything available so my, my whole goal and aspiration is to kind of open up that opportunity for kids who are like myself who couldn't necessarily afford to travel every weekend and go off and do like big holiday summer camps and trainings elsewhere but yeah so I really want to be a choreographer I want to produce shows and like have a little niche group of dancers and own my own studio one day. Now to finish off my skin prep and base, um, I love to go in with an SPF. This one is just the Mecca Cosmetica one. It is an SPF 50. These are really handy. They're super, super teeny tiny. Um, I have a whole heap of these lying around everywhere. So I like to use them. SPF actually also works as like a really, really good primer. So that is pretty much like my skincare side of things. Now I'm going to go into like primers and that side. My I only have three products that I like to use for priming. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream, Bobbi Brown Face Base, and the Milk Hydro Grip. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those ones. A little trick that I have with like my primers and my base is to actually set it in place with a setting spray. I love the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but yeah, that's just a little trick that I have. I find that it keeps like the tackiness and the primer a bit fresher for longer while I'm actually doing my makeup. Now that the primers and the skincare is all done, we can actually move on to the actual makeup step. These are my two favourite products to use as a base. It is the Morphe 2 Skin Tint and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So I like to put on a bit of Charlotte Flawless Filter first. And then on top of that, I'll just put on the Morphe 2 Skin Tint. And then I'll go in with some more setting spray. 
And then I like to use a warm beauty blender that I've warmed up in some warm water. And I avoid going like right up underneath my eyes. I just like to keep it on the majority of like my face. I like to have less products under my eyes because my under eyes are very dry and they crease really easily. So as you can see, that kind of just gives off like a really nice subtle glow, almost like a second skin. Once I've done that, I like to just let that sit and melt into the skin for a bit and I like to do my brows. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I like to use the Kai Brow pencil. It has like a little pencil on one end and a little brow spoolie on the other. And recently, um, Abby Co sent me their brow glue so I thought we could try this out today supposedly it's packed full of like vitamins and other like skincare goodies um to help your eyebrows like stay healthy I guess so we're gonna give that a go so a little bit more about me I absolutely love the fashion and beauty industry especially like recently I've gotten like pretty deep into it I'm a pretty I have a pretty minimalist plain style like I like to keep things simple and I find that it just makes it easier to like mix and match things. Um, I still would say I do have like a bit of colour in my wardrobe but it's not like patterns and stripes and things, it's just very simple plain bits and pieces that I can mix and match all with each other all the time. Like I can tell you I'm if I'm not res like if I'm not responding to any of your messages <laughs> I'm most likely online window shopping and creating wish lists. Creating wish lists is like one of my favorite things to do. I just love it. And then obviously I send them to everyone um, in hopes that I'll get them one day. But I do love to save, like I'll create a wish list on like a certain brand and then I'll save for a while so that I can buy that entire car. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do. And I'm just, I'm always constantly like looking for new outfits and new products and yeah, I just love that whole industry so much. I feel like it is very oversaturated at the moment, like the fashion and beauty industry, but honestly, I feel like if you really want to go for something and you have a bit of a passion for it, you can definitely like push for it and pursue it. I'm not gonna really push for it too much because like I said before, I am an aspiring dance teacher and choreographer and that does take a lot of hard work. I don't feel like I'd be out of both. I don't feel like I'd be able to balance both being an influencer and a studio owner. So we'll have to see how that goes. But for now, I enjoy content creating and fashion and beauty while I'm studying. I'm also like a huge sucker for like a good matching lounge set and like matching PJs. I have so many Peter Alexander PJs, it's not even funny anymore. So if you ever have a good matching set of PJs or a lounge set, or you know of a small business, send it my way because I will probably get right on that. Anyway, we're going to try out the Abiko brow glue now. My biggest thing when looking for a brow gel or like a brow glue is that it has to hold because as you know now, I am a dancer and my eyebrow hairs are very thick and I do struggle to find one that actually holds my brow hairs in place in the right shape and as a dancer, quick changes, costume changes, you don't really want to be having to fix your eyebrows every time you get changed. So it's really important that the brow glues that I have and find actually hold my brows in place. So far though, it was really easy to use. I feel like I could really control each hair with this little spoolie and really like place them in certain spots. I do like it, but the real test is to see if it lasts all day and holds them in place. My brows are definitely sisters, not twins. I've never just been able to make them look the same in their entire life. Well, in my, in their entire life, in my entire life, I've never been able to make them like exactly the same. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I like to go back to my base and do like all the blushes and the bronzers and all of that fun stuff. So let's get those out. So recently it was my birthday and I did get this Patrick Ta, the bronzer duo, the cream and powder bronzer duo. What is this called? It's called the Four Face. So, and I've been loving it so much. It is so beautiful. So I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender into the cream. And then I'm just going to tap it like on my cheeks. 
is so beautiful. I don't necessarily contour just because I am pretty happy with the shape of my face and my features, but I am such a sucker for a good bronzing. I want more of like a fresh glowy look today, so for blush, I'm going to use the NARS Liquid Orgasm Blush. And I know you can do this, but I just prefer to do it this way. If I wanted more of a matte blush, I would use this Rare Beauty one in shade Grace, as it is a bit more of a matte shade. And then, like I like to do in between all of my steps, I'm going to set all the cream products. Now to set those cream bronzers and blushes, I do like to use a little bit of powder. So I love to use this MAC blush in shade Warm Soul. It is literally my favourite, all-time favourite blush. I got this back in year 12 when I went and had my makeup done at MAC for my year 12 formal. And this was one of the products I decided to redeem because she put it on my face and I was like, uh-huh, I need that for every day. It's just so gorgeous, so subtle, so glowy. I just love everything about it. And to set the bronzer, I love to use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This one is an all-time favourite. I have recently hit pan, which is so strange. I don't think I've actually ever hit pan on a product before, before I stopped liking it. So I guess that says something. And then, of course, we're going to set... We're almost done, so I'm going to do my lashes now. I love to use this MK Beauty Lash Curler because it has like a... I don't know if you can see. Is it going to focus for me? It has like the little tooth in it, the little comb. And my favourite mascaras at the moment, well, mascara and primer. The Too Faced Four Play Mascara Primer and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's a combo, I'm telling you. So I'm going to start off with the primer first. A question that I get asked all the time is how I keep my skin so clear and like fresh and I'm gonna be honest with you if you could see at the back at the start of the video before I started you could tell my skin is not perfect like at all it is completely far from it but um, I do stick to a pretty strict routine that does help a lot so let me share some tips with you tip number one is find two cleansers that work really really well for you so the first cleanser needs to be a makeup remover or like some sort of cleanser that you can use to get rid of oil makeup and just like an initial first cleanse and that should be the thing that you do every night is a double cleanse because like I like to say to double cleanse is the trend I don't know who says that but I say that <laughs> anyway um you should be double cleansing every night that's just, that's all. You just should be. Um, and your second cleanser should be like a really nice foaming cleanser that suits your needs. Every second day I'll do a face mask or a toner. Not every day because it can actually damage your skin barrier. So that's only every second day that I'll do a toner or a face mask. But then, yeah, serums, moisturizer, and then SPF. Or every day, pretty much, every morning. And then at night time is a bit different uh, my eyelash is like stuck to the power. There we go. Whoa, holy cow. Nighttime is a little bit different. I do the double cleanse and then every second or third night I'll do like a detoxing face mask, like an anti-blemish face mask. And then if I have blemishes, I'll put like a blemish patch on them and then I'll go and do um, a night cream like a nighttime ceramide and every second or third day I actually put like a little retinol eye cream on because you can start doing that in your 20s um, but yeah that's pretty much my biggest tip is to get yourself into a routine and be consistent I hear a lot of people like saying oh it's not working it's not working and they've only done it like every second day for a week you need to do it every day for like four weeks to actually see a difference and to actually see it working so get yourself into a routine and be consistent. So you can see my lashes are now curled to the gods. Now I'm just going to go in with my mascara. And our last but not least final step is lips. I just like to take any excess makeup off my lips like this. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender and just tap around the edges because I find that I get like a line of like foundation. 
So I just like to tap around the edges just to make sure that that's blended out. And my go-to everyday lip gloss at the moment is either the LOM Beauty Clear Gloss or the Dior like lip oil. Today I feel like I want a little bit more hydration so I'm going to go in with the Dior lip oil. This is the clear one. I think it's it's called it's called Universal Clear but mine has actually gone a little bit pink. I'm not really sure. It's probably from putting like it on top of like other lipsticks and things. And as a final step we're going to do one last set. And there we have it, a little slice into my everyday makeup routine and a little glimpse into my life and what my goals are and my aspirations and where I'm headed. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope that it encourages you to come back and spend some more time with me and watch my videos. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I am trying to get threads going as well, but it's a lot to balance and I don't think threads is really a like a, a big platform at the moment anyway. So definitely go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post quite a fair bit on there. And thanks again for coming and watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.